Let's find out what this past paper question about coordinate geometry um, has to teach us. And indeed, past paper question, so as you know, credit goes to Cambridge because this is their question. And you make sure to check my website, www.explainingmaths.com, where you'll find all my free resources. Now, what's going on is you can see you have this diagram here. And they say the diagram shows a triangle ABC in which A is 3 minus 2, B is 15, 22. Okay, the gradients of AB, AC, and BC are 2M minus 2M and M respectively, where M is a positive constant. Okay, find the gradient of AB and deduce the value of M. Yeah, so, yeah, so we're first going to find the gradient of AB and then we're going to um, sh yeah, deduce, uh, which means uh, find, uh, conclude what the value of M is. We know it's a positive constant. Okay, so for two points, so not too much work involved. Uh, I'll do it here in the corner because I don't have a lot of space. Uh, finding the gradient, you can say something like the difference in the Y direction over the difference in the X direction. And um, the difference in the y direction, 22 minus minus 2. Uh, so be careful with those um, with those signs. Eh? 22 minus minus 2. Difference is minus, and the minus of the 2 over there. Over 15, take away 3. And as I can see, AB um, will have a positive gradient. Eh? So if I get something negative, I've made a silly one. 24 over 12, which is 2. Okay, so AB is 2. They also say that AB has a gradient of 2M. So you can say, so 2M had the gradient is 2, and therefore M equals 1. Fantastic. That's that first, or those first two points in the pocket. Then they say, find the coordinates of point C. Okay, now what can you do? Um, yeah, what are your options eh, for four points? So there's quite some work involved. What are my options? I can find the equation of the line AC and I can find the equation of the line BC and where they meet is point C. Yeah? So if I equal those two equations to each other, yeah, where are they the same? That will give me the coordinates of point C. Okay, now I'm going to try to squeeze, uh, squeeze this in. Let's start with AC, so the line AC. And as you know, um, it is y equals uh, mx plus c, and the gradient intercept form. I always use that uh, form. I know there are other ways of writing down those equations, but that's what I prefer. m is the gradient, and we've said that ac is minus 2m, um, and if m is 1, that makes it a gradient of minus 2 times 1, so that is minus 2x plus c. And how can I find the y-intercept c? If I can substitute a point that I know that lies on ac, 3 minus 2, so minus 2 is minus 2 times 3 plus c, so c will be 4. Okay, and that gives me the equation ac, y equals minus 2x plus 4. There we go, let's put a box around that. Fantastic. We're going to do a similar thing now for bc. Um, that over here, BC, uh, Y equals MX plus C. I'm going to skip that just because I don't have the space. BC um, must have a positive gradient again. And what did they say? They said BC is M. So if M is 1, then we have Y equals uh, 1X plus C. Substitute a point. Well, you know a point, 15, 22. So 22 equals 15 plus C. So C will be 7, giving me the equation Y equals X plus 7, huh? 22 minus 15. Good. Those are the equations of BC and AC. And where they meet is point C. So I'm going to equal them to each other. Um, so, oh, we're getting emails there. Minus 2x plus 4 equals x plus 7. And if I rearrange that, 3x, 4 minus 7 is minus 3. So x will be a minus 1. So the x-coordinate of point C is minus 1, which makes sense because it is negative indeed. And how can I find the y-coordinate? Well, you substitute it in one of the two equations, doesn't matter which one. Let's do this one. So y equals x plus 7. So y equals minus 1 plus 7, which is going to give you 6. So that is the answer to ii. Fantastic. The perpendicular bisector of AB, 
meets B, C, and D. Okay, that's, that's a lot of letters, um, so let's uh, break it up. The perpendicular bisector of AB. So this is line AB, and the perpendicular, yeah, so 90 degree line, bisector, so dividing this line into two equal pieces. I just want to make a sketch of it, so I don't know what, what we're doing. So roughly, oh, there we go, I want to draw it, there we go. That's roughly the perpendicular bisector, huh? 90 degrees, and bisects the line AB. Meets BC, I continue reading, meets BC at point D. Okay, so meets and uh, intersects BC at point, we call that D. Um, and let me call that point here X. Uh, so we're talking about the line DX there, the perpendicular bisector. Find the coordinates of D. Well, similar question as II, uh, to find that point of intersection, I know already the equation of BC. Okay, now if I find the equation of the line dx, so that perpendicular bisector, and if I equal it to the equation of BC, then I'll find that point of intersection. So dx, um, I'll do that over here, y equals mx plus c. Now, what is the gradient? Well, it's a perpendicular bisector, yeah? and perpendicular lines, the gradients are each other's reciprocal of opposite sign. Okay, so if it's perpendicular to AB, where was line AB? What was the gradient of AB again? Uh, gradient of AB was 2, okay? The gradient of AB is 2, that means that the perpendicular line, yeah, perpendicular to AB, will be the reciprocal, so 1 over 2, 1 over 2, but then the opposite sign, so minus 1 over 2. And looking at my sketch, indeed, I see it goes down, yes, yeah? so I must have a negative gradient. That's why I like sketches, because I can see what I'm doing. X plus C, there we go. Um, okay, how to find the Y-intercept? Well, to I have to substitute a point for Y and X, and then I'll find C, but I do not have a point, however, it's the perpendicular bisector. So point X will be the midpoint of AB. So the midpoint, you gotta find the midpoint. Let me do that here. The midpoint. So what do you do? You add the, uh, so for the X coordinates, you would add the X coordinates, 15 plus three. You divide it by two, I had to find the midpoint. 18 divided by two is nine. And you do the same for the Y coordinates. What is that, 22 plus minus two divided by two, which is 10. So although they do not literally give you that coordinate, you can find it at the midpoint. You add the X coordinates divided by two, you add the Y coordinates divided by two, it's the midpoint. So we're gonna substitute that point in my equation. So uh, Y is 10, oh, I continue in blue, equals minus a half times X plus C, so that's minus four and a half, so C is 14 and a half. So the equation of that perpendicular bisector, Y equals minus a half X plus C. Okay, I'm squeezing it in, in this page, it's quite messy, but I hope you can follow me. Not plus C, what am I doing? You see that I'm starting making mistakes. C is 14 and a half, so I should say 14 and a half over there. Apologies. Okay, to find the coordinates of D, I'm gonna hurry up now. This equation, yeah, the equation of DX, equal it to the equation of BC to find the coordinates of point D. So minus a half X plus 14 and a half equals BC, which one was that? It's this one, and eh? you see how nice it is if you structure your workings, so you can find it easily, X plus seven. So rearrange that, one and a half x, and let me see, seven and a half. Seven and a half divided by one and a half is five. So the x coordinate is five of that point D. What about the y coordinate? You can substitute the x coordinate in one of the equations. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter which one you do, you can do it here or there. Well, this one looks slightly easier, eh? so five, y equals five plus seven, which equals 12, five, 12. There we go. I hope that was useful, um, not too messy. Uh, let me know by liking and sharing it if it was useful. And check my website, explainingmaths.com. Um, and I wish you a very pleasant day. See you later. Take care.